Hello, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be learning how to save high scores to an external text file and load them in at the beginning of playing your game so that previous runs high scores save in between gameplay. Okay, so the basic concept of this is um, a standard Python game, which I'm assuming you came to this video because you have a game, you have a program that you built, and you want to save some data at the end of a run and load it in the next time you come into the game. So this isn't t uh, specifically going to be a tutorial on how to make this game in particular. Uh, I did do a tutorial on it. This is a, a home-built doodle jumper. And if you want to learn how to build this game, it's a good one. I'll put a link to it in the video. But the actual um, flaw of this game is so here you get a high score of 11. Uh, you could keep playing, get real high, uh, high scores. But then if I close the program, if I were to close my code editor and then reopen it, every time I restart the game, it's going to say high score zero. That's pretty frustrating because obviously the high score, it should track, you know, however long you've been playing this game, whatever your progressive high score is. So today we're going to take a look at how to do that. And uh, I've previously shown on this channel how to read and write from uh, text files, but in those videos, that was all I did in the video. So it was kind of like, how do you incorporate this into a greater program or into a full-blown um, game. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at that. Um, and let's begin with the write logic because I think that that'll be a little bit easier. We'll program in writing the high score to the file. And the first thing to note is drop an empty text file uh, into your game folder. So, so into wherever you have your program, drop a text file, give it a name that will mean something to you. I've called mine player info because you could add high score, you could add like a currency if there was a shop or something, you could add player name or user uh, credentials, whatever you want into this text file. So just make sure you have a text file. Mine's blank as you can see. Um, but you're going to need that because now what we're going to do, um, I'm thinking in order to not overburden the system, let's only save when the game ends. So instead of, you know, every time you're jumping, if you are getting a high score, well, every new platform you get to is going to be a new high score. And the if you put it in just any time that, for example, any time the high score updated, um, you also had it saving and overwriting the file. Well, technically that would be true. It would always capture whatever the current high score is. Um, but it, then it's going to be trying to save every single increment of the score. I think when the game ends, that's when we'll save it. Um, we'll check to see if the high score uh, was, was high enough and we'll save it at that point. And so to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to make a new variable but we'll be checking to see if the high score was greater than the last saved high score so we'll come up a little bit later and we'll make a saved high score variable um, but now here's the actual code for accessing that file and putting data into it okay so it's gonna be file equals open and then the name of your text file so Python, um, especially like the good IDEs like PyCharm and there are others, um, they will auto-populate with the names of files. So all you have to do is file equals open, and then it'll search for any files in your assets in your folder. Um, so it's just file.open and then the name of your file and then a comma. And if you're going to write, it's per, um, you put a W in parentheses, not parentheses, uh, quotations. <laughs> okay. So um, that's how you access the file, and now we have a variable called file that's open, and we can write data to it. So what are we going to do? We're going to do file.write, and now we're going to put what we want um, to get written into that file. And we could just straight up write the score. That would work. Um, but on the off chance this becomes a file where you want to store a lot of character data like if you were were in an advanced game where you had you know character attributes like strength or stamina or anything like that you would want to label each entry um, to make it clear when you're accessing that data at the start of the game that you're getting the right info so we're gonna do high score colon um, and then space just like that and then we'll do plus 
And then uh, to concatenate strings, you should know this part. You have to have um, everything in there be a string. So you could either do an F string, which is a formatted string, and put the variables in curly brackets. Um, or you can just do it this way with an str, which converts integer to string. But in any case, this is going to write one line of text to our text file um, that will say high score um, and then string of of the high score actual variable. Okay, well wow, that was hard to get out. All right, and then uh, important thing: file dot close or it won't save. Okay. And then um, we want to, down here, we actually want the saved high score to update to the high score. So this is how we keep track that we just saved it. Um, so that's what you do on the back end to save it. Now let's kind of take a look at what you would do in the beginning. when we're. So we'll go up here to where score and high score are initially called zeros. And now let's take a look at it. Um, what we have to do right when the game starts is, it, well, it's um, similar to start. It's file equals open and then player info text, just like before. But now, you guessed it, it's an R instead of a W, so we're reading from it. And what um, we're going to do in this one is for line in file. Um, it's also not a bad idea to give this a different name then you're giving the one that you close at especially if there's a lot of data because when you do a write it's going to um it's going to overwrite it's not just going to update and like add another uh line to it it's going to overwrite what's in there so having all of this info stored and then when you do a write you write all of this info just updated however it got updated during the game that would be a good way to do it um but okay, so what we're going to check is for line in the file. So it's going to go through every um, line of your file because that's how this open works by default. It takes each line of your text file and it puts it in a list of like CSV values where every line is separated by a column, um, a comma in the text format. But then it comes in with a backslash N in it um, when you bring it in. But uh that's you can look into the videos I did that are specifically just how to read and write from text files if you need more background info we're gonna focus on how to save the high score for this one so okay what we're checking is four line in file so it's incrementing through every line in that file and then we're gonna check if the substring high score is in that line so um, Py Python makes that really easy it's just if and then the string you're checking for and then is in and then the string you're checking against this is checking to see if a substring is in a string and that's super easy okay so then what we're gonna do because remember this is at the very beginning of the program so this codes only running once it's not running every loop of your game well then we want the high score to be and we need to use an integer converter because remember on the back end we took an integer number and we turned it into a string so we could save it well now we need to take that string value and we need to pull it out as an integer so we use int and then what I'm gonna do there's a few ways you could do this but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace all of the text that said high space whoops high and then space uh, high score <laughs> and then colon and then space. I'm gonna take all that text and then you do a comma and then you say what you're gonna replace it with and I'm gonna replace it with nothing. So essentially that entire line of code and the reason I did this is you don't know how many characters your high score could be. So you certainly could check. I mean you could um, write a program that's gonna take from the very end of that line and go backwards until you hit the colon um, and then pull that in as an integer I'm gonna do it this way where I just take high score and I remove that text and then I move it into my high score variable and then what I'm gonna do uh, because this will take care of updating it on the screen and everything but I am gonna make that saved high score variable saved high score equal to zero and we need um, before this thing runs we need to make that variable just like we have with every game variable so we have to make it initially zero or whatever value you want um, on the off chance there is no high score data yet like the first time you play this game there won't be um, and on the off chance something in the formatting has gotten off in your text file so let's go ahead and run it that was a lot of talking there was a lot of code let's go ahead and see if it actually works 
So I'll just get like a high score of, I don't know, four. I'll use my air jumps. Those are sweet. Yeah, if you didn't check out the game construction tutorial, uh, this game is pretty fun. Um, but my microphone did goof up during it, so I do apologize. It's not the most polished video I've ever put out. Um, but we did do like, uh, you have these special super jumps if you hit space bar and um, color changing backgrounds, stuff like that. So it's pretty fun. But okay, so we got a high score of 41. Let's go ahead and die if we can. I'm just so good at the game. All right, I'm going to hit space, and you see the high score keeps there. But if I close this program now, I'm going to go look at the... So here we go. That's pretty cool. We have high score 43. There was nothing there a second ago. The second big test is when we run this and open it up. So there we go. High score 43 is uh, is saved in there. Um, that's pretty awesome because before, anytime you would have closed and reopened your program, it would reset to zero. Um so that's the basics of it guys I mean you can expand the concepts that we just did you can expand those out kind of infinitely for additional player information this is also how you would actually um, use user information if you made a widget or a utility uh, that was doing a service for any kind of API's or anything um, there are ways to encrypt the data so that it's not so easy to modify because obviously I could come in here, it's just a text file, and I could say I had some ridiculously high score, and then I boot it up and you know the high score's off the screen when in reality nobody's going to break a thousand on my Python doodle jump game. So uh, there are ways to increase the security, enhance the security, but for basic purposes, most people who play games don't even know that most of their player data is saved in local files, and so they would never go looking for it anyways. I hope you found this useful. Um, I, if there is anything specific you want to see on the channel in the future, be sure to let me know about in the comments below. If you did like this content, um, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video to uh, catch up on all the future content. Go ahead and check out the channel for tons of other tutorials. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.